Good morning all you lovely people. Oh, I don't know why, but today I just feel like it's gonna be a great day. I just feel like I've woken up so full of vim and vigor. Got a little bit of a spring in my step. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready to go today. Don't know why, can't be the weather because it's raining outside. <laughs> There's just something about today that's filling my heart with joy. <sighs> anyway, that's enough about me blabbing on. Let's just have a quick check of the old YouTube comments to get me in the mood for today's vlog. <sighs> Boring. A bit of a short, nothing video. Boring. It was fun while you were on a boat, but now it is boring. We'll come back if you go back on board. Cheers. I think this has got to be the most boring YouTube video I've ever watched. No offense. They're right. I am boring. plan is to clean Holly and make it a real baking cafe space. I'm going to write a list of all the stuff that we need to do. It's quite a lot. Emptying the Elsan, clear out the cupboards, clean out the fridge, make bathroom nice, de-shedify. That's not a real word, but I can see a bag of tools down there, loads of batteries and like all the things that you'd put in a shed. So we'll move those. Um, wash up. Clean windows. Rehome spiders. Chuck out the rubbish. Sweep and mop the floors. Clean out the fridge. Stock check, that's just to make sure that we've got things to make the cake, all those consumables and everything like that. In the beach factory we have a big, big truck. Gone crazy. This is starting to come together. And then my last one is collect jumpers. I wear loads of jumpers when I come over to bake in the mornings and then I take them all off and put them in various places around this boat. So that's the last job. Done. That was quite a productive session. This is 
now we roll. It's five past five. The mission now is keep William awake. Because if he falls asleep now, that's the absolute danger nap zone. We'll be up till midnight. William, stay with me. Stay with me, buddy. Down. We made it. Yeah. You made it, William. You did it. Yeah. Well done. We're having tuna and pasta for dinner and watching Strictly and William's still awake because I, I think that little micro nap kept him up for another five hours. <laughs> yeah. understand how it's going to come out of the mold. New oven, new mixer, so who knows what's going to happen. This butter is not soft enough yet. Do you want to see what's in here? It's butter. recipe test like the first bit of a recipe test what I want to test is like that cake shape the quantity of batter that's needed for it and how the oven deals with it gosh lime smells great William we're the only one oh goodbye <laughs> okay it's going in going in the oven no 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 go in Okay, I'll just set a timer and then see what it looks like. I could sit around and wait all day. Make a draw my friend. Yeah, it's all right, it's rising. I just don't know, it, it should rise more than that really. There's quite a lot of cake batter, but you also can't open the door. Not at this stage. So you just gotta be patient and hope for the best. I'm gonna open it and check. It's been in there for 30 minutes. It looks good. <laughs> the biggest test of all will be getting it out of the tin. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> that was really easy. That's exciting. Look at the rise on it. pleased with it. Yeah, it seems light. It's really nice, it's very light, for want of a better word, moist. And the lime flavour is really, really zingy. But I think it will be better with coconut. Maybe it's a bit one dimensional for the, for the moment. I feel like a bundt cake should be special just because of the special shape. It can't just be like a lemon drizzle. No offence, lemon drizzle. I'm off today. Let's go and get zero. So I've got quite a lot that I want to do today. I'm going to move zero back up towards Bollington, but first I've got to turn her around. So 
always a relief to get back to the boat and see that it's not sunk or on fire. So that's pretty good. I'm going to set off now. I'm going to head down this way till I find the next winding hole and then turn around there. But first, we've got that to take care of. just like the good old days. Pretty windy today. I'm hoping that kind of helps me out when it comes to the winding hole. Windy hole is just another name for, you know, turning point where you can turn the boat around. It's called that because, you know, back in the day, they used to try and let the wind do the work, as I still would today. And I'm gonna, Where the turning point is, I don't know. Yeah, it is, it is the turning point, it is. And I'm gonna go in bum first, I think, to kind of use the wind. Yeah, because the wind's kind of blowing down this way. That's what I'm gonna try and do, reverse into here and let the wind kind of blow the front of the boat round. It might be a bit of a faff, you kind of run the risk of getting stuck, obviously, but it's quite hard to battle against the wind sometimes when you're turning around, especially. So I'm favouring this method, despite its foibles. I'm reversing into that spot now. Those ducks better watch out. Okay. Kind of seems more or less like it's working. So often when it comes to turning round, I find it's just a case of just wait and see, wait and see what happens. I think, uh, you know, like most things in life, it's half chance. So that's just the wind pushing it. That's just the wind, the wind's coming down from there. Pushing me round. So that's it. I'm kind of mostly round now. In fact, I might just start heading off. <sighs> Feels nice being back on the tiller. I've missed this feeling. I love this bit going through Maxfield. It's kind of harder to notice it on the on the camera but you've got that massive bridge that's kind of interesting looking because it's a bit slanty. Oh my god. It's also really shallow around here. <laughs> There's rocks there. That's always the way, isn't it? Sometimes it's quite nice meeting people under the bridge like that because it gives you a chance to get out all of your... Uh, just typical, isn't it? Just perfect weather for it. That kind of chat. I think I'm going to try and nuzzle in here. Of under a tree here which isn't perfect but it's just quite nice to have this here now as a little base because so we've got both boats in kind of a similar place now so we'll be able to sort of make trips a lot easier and get both of these boats sorted 
That's cool. It's nice to move the boat again. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> What's for dinner? Got the yes. I got these corn tortillas that I'm excited to try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, William, you ready? But maybe now we'll say goodbye and thanks for watching. And if you're a patron, by the way, there's a, a Q and A, a long Q and A video that we did just for you guys on the Patreon website, just so that you know, just in case you don't know. Uh, other than that, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next week. We should say an extra thanks um, for sticking with us through this move, uh, because it's really great to have you all. Yeah. Not even on board anymore, but in house. Exactly. Um, and it's nice to still be making videos and doing stuff, and it's really motivating, and we really love you for it. So we, thank you. We appreciate you. Mm. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I want to look nicer. I'm going for this kind of thing, if you know what I mean. I think that's quite cool. Not thank from this angle. Please, be respectful. Yes. My bored face. Do we regret anything? No. This is great. <laughs> <laughs>